I just basically been in the music all my life. You know, I started DJing in high school. I could afford one turntable, and one of my friends bought the other turntable, so we would we basically share turntables. And one week they'd be at my house, the other week they'd be at his house. I was doing like house parties, just DJing at, at clubs, underground basement parties, neighborhood DJ battles. DJ it wasn't really like the most popular thing at that point. The DJ was kind of tucked away in the back of a club. I did it for the music. You know, now it's turned into a whole phenomenon where the DJ is like, you know, they see the DJ as a rock star or whatever. And it's cool to be able to, to fly around and to DJ at different events. But at the end of it all, it's just about the music. DMC battle is probably the most respected DJ battle in the world. I progressed into being a, a mix show DJ on the radio. And then from there, uh, I started doing mix mixtapes, basically selling them out of my trunk. I was one of the first guys to put out legalized mix CDs. promote the music in general, not just my music, but the whole electronic music scene. Whether I'm doing interviews or whether I'm doing press, I'm always down to do that as long as it's helping to promote the music. The Bad Boy Bill DJ experience is a bit different just because of the way I play songs, the style of music that I play, and the way I put it together. I try to incorporate hip hop techniques into house music and techno music. And I add scratching, I add turntable tricks, all mixed in with this hip hop flair basically with house music and techno music. So it's my own unique style. I listen to all styles of music from hip hop to R&B to rock. That's what's influenced my style and influenced me as a DJ and a producer. It's having those different styles of music to draw upon when I'm in the studio or whether I'm behind some turntables. What I do is I just I just really focus on, on getting the crowd pumped. I mean, that's my job, so that's what I do. I just, whatever it takes, it might be scratching, it might be trying to do some tricks, it might be playing a certain record. Amazing visuals, amazing lighting. DJs and bands in general are very similar. Uh, obviously it's your instrument is a turntable, that's the only difference. But other than that, it's still a connection, it's still your music, it's still you know, your emotion and whatever you're feeling that you're trying to get across to that crowd. It's a rush, that's what I, I live for. And when I get behind the turntables and I see people going crazy and going off, that's, that's when I know that, that it's a good party and I feel good. It's definitely an adrenaline rush. It's, it's a great feeling to have people come up to you and show you the love that they have for your mix CDs, basically want you to sign them or take a picture with them. I mean, that's a great feeling. It shows me when I'm sitting in my studio making CDs and, and, and you know, spending hours on the, and putting time into it, that people are actually listening, you know, people really appreciate it. And that, that's the reward.